How's it going everybody? It's Prod here and today I am bringing you guys a new Q&A video. For this one we have a couple of questions. If you guys have any questions you guys would like to ask me feel free to leave those in the comment section of this video. I still have more uh, like a backlog of questions that I've gotten asked in previous videos and stuff so today let's go ahead and get it started off with the first question. Once the DLC drops are you going to be moving all your PvP series to Arena? So basically, am I only going to be playing Arena rather than like putting down my summoning sign at Pontiff here or summoning people just straight out of Pontiff? Uh, but at the moment, I don't know. I don't know if the Arena is even going to be good. One of my biggest worries is that healing is going to be available in the Arena, which if that's the case, that'll really suck. And I feel like it might encourage people to heal even more. So I'm kind of worried about that, but at the moment I'm thinking, yeah, probably once Arena comes out, the people that I'm going to be getting are going to be most likely a lot better. If there's like a little tier system similar to uh, Dark Souls 2, where you had the red aura, anybody who has like a specific, like if it's something like the red aura, you immediately be able to tell, oh, okay, that guy knows what he's doing. So yeah, I will probably be moving all my series, like pick my weapon and stuff and most of my PVP to arena because i do think it's going to be a little bit more fun i'm just hoping fingers crossed that there is no healing i'm sure most of you guys would agree but uh second one is one that i constantly get asked and that is why don't i play on ps4 in case you guys don't know i do play on xbox one i don't play on pc uh that kind of also answers the question what console do i play on because i think that's like my most requested or that's like my most asked question which is what console do i play on it is on the xbox one uh, but the main reason why I don't play on the PlayStation 4 is, well, number one is uh, basically like the one friend that I play with, which is like a friend that I played with for a very long time. He is on the Xbox One, does not have a PS4. Uh, you know, the first time that I played through Dark Souls, I played it together with him, uh, not co-op and stuff, but just kind of along at the same time. Same goes for Dark Souls 2, and we did uh, plan to do that for Dark Souls 3, but you know, he has a job and stuff. But I did get it mainly on the uh, on the Xbox One to play with him. And in case you guys don't know, for those of you guys who are content creators and make videos and stuff, uh, you know my biggest problem with the PS4 is uh, whenever you have like a regular headset, because the controller itself on the PS4 has its own USB thing, USB 3.0 port, I think it is. But you can basically use any headset you want on that. If it's like a regular head buds, uh, earphones, anything you want, you can use those headsets as long as it has the same type of connection. And the problem with that is whenever you actually do use that, you cannot get any recording or any audio whenever you record video. So basically if you have a headset plugged in, you won't get any audio at all on your recording on the PS4 unless you actually unplug it, which is really annoying because I enjoy playing with a headset. I enjoy having the, the sound right in my ears. I don't like playing with the TV volume because even though I don't think the mic would pick it up, it's just annoying that you won't be able to listen to all of the game audio, which there are fixes for it, but it's just a couple of things that are kind of clunky. Like uh, one of the biggest things is a bunch of cords that you can buy from Turtle Beach themselves, I think. And I am planning probably to get that sooner or later the last time i did check on their website they were completely sold out of the of the product and i was like ready to buy it too but it was completely sold out look for it on ebay i think i found one but then I, I, by that time i was just kind of like eh, i don't know if i want to get on ps4 anymore but just so you guys know i will eventually get it on the ps4 i don't know when maybe by the time the first dlc comes out uh, after that i'll end up getting it on ps4 because at the moment i just kind of want to stick to playing pvp like any time that i want to actually play i want to kind of have it be just mainly pvp so i hope you guys understand that and i will probably get it sooner or later for those guys who are on playstation 4 and want to play against me we will be able to sooner or later and that's another thing too which is just real quick that i want to answer uh not really a question that i got asked for this and like even had written down but it's a question i do get asked a lot which is can I duel you? Uh, for those guys who uh, have been asking me for a duel, I don't really take duel requests when it comes to just fighting people because, you know, it takes like, there's most of the time I'm not playing. Like most of the time, whenever I am actually playing, I'm recording at the same time. So I'm not on Dark Souls 3 like all the time. So whenever somebody asks, you know, can I 1v1 you? I'm either about to start recording or about to get off recording. And the only time I really take like dual requests because I do get a ton, I probably get like 10 a day. And I would be fun to fight all of you guys, but you know, it's just one of those things where the timing, you know, the timing is just not right. But if I do end up fighting 1v1 against you, it'll most likely be part of a live stream. Whenever I do live stream, 
uh, which I don't have a set schedule for. Usually it's at least once a week on the weekends. That's whenever I live stream. That's when you actually get to play against me because I play against anybody who is watching and I just put down summoning sign down and I summon a bunch of people. So that's whenever you will actually get to 1v1 me if that's what you want to do. But the last question that I'm going to be answering here today is about my build because a lot of people have been asking me about my build. What type of build do I have? Why don't I have a better build? Which is a good question. So if you guys have seen my build, basically all my stats are kind of centered around a lot of strength. Like I think I have 45 strength and then I have like like 20 dexterity, maybe a little bit more. I honestly cannot remember at the moment just off the top of my head. But a lot of people have asked me and told me about, you know, I should take off so much points of strength. I, put, I should have like a 40-40 character. The main stats of my character are basically so that I can make videos. Uh, because obviously I would have like a better min-maxed character if I was going to mainly play PvP. But then there would be like a large majority of weapons I wouldn't be able to use. Like the big, really big strength weapons like Smoe's Great Hammer and stuff like that. Like, I wouldn't be able to use it and have fun with that weapon. This character is mainly for recording videos, and that's why it's kind of, like, such a weird stat, and I'm sure some of you guys have uh, seen the stats and thought they were really weird. So that is basically why uh, I have that and those stats, because I do want to record videos with any weapon, because with that character, I can record with any strength weapon, any dex weapon. Uh, when it comes to faith weapons, the only one that I really care about is the Dragon Slayer Sword Spear because that thing is fucking awesome and I like using that. It's one of my favorite weapons. And there are also a couple of weapons, like a couple of faith weapons that I can use, a couple of intelligence weapons, even though it's not that high, there are still a couple on the lower tiers that I can use. And that's basically why I have my build and it's so weird and I have like points put everywhere. But uh, that is about it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, the gameplay that you guys were seeing in the background was basically like literally just before I got off, I ended up recording, I think it was like six matches that I just played in a row and I just put them all for you guys in the background. I'll let you guys finish watching them for those of you guys who think there's like one match left anyway. So anyways, guys, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment section of the video and I'll probably get around to them sooner or later. All right, talk to you guys later. Peace, everybody.